Um, so first of all, you know King Charles personally, you know him very well. What were your thoughts on the King's speech yesterday? Good morning, ladies. Happy Boxing Day. Thank you for having me on. Um, it, it was interesting. For me, it was, it was quite significant, as for many others, because obviously it's the first time we've had a king do a televised speech. And, the, you know, there's parts of me that kind of, you, you watch it and things that he was saying, that I thought, yeah, that's that's exactly his kind of views and his feelings. Like, for example, when he talks about the different face and, and recognise another face, uh, that's something that's really important to him. And what many people won't know is that Highgrove, where I was based, there's a church, a little sanctuary, it's called a little church in the grounds. And regardless of faith, you can go there. He, he made it so that any faith can go and worship there. So this is something that's really important to him. And I thought it was quite significant that he that he mentioned that. So I think with the speech, because obviously they, you know, the monarch are very much involved with the speech. They write it. Obviously, they get advice on it. But it is, it's very much them. And, and that's what I felt it reflected. Now, Grant, no mention of Meghan and Harry. Was that a snub or was that just a sensible move to keep them out of the headlines? I, I like to think it was a sensible move. Um, I think the reality is that for the King, he obviously talked with Princeton and Princess of Wales in the recent visit to Wales, which was, a, a again, a significant moment for the royal family. Um, I think with everything that's gone recently, it's probably best not to have mentioned them, but I don't think it's because, you know, he's thought, oh, I'm not going to mention certain members of the family. I think it's as simple as he talks about that they're not working members of the royal family, so there isn't any real reason to mention them um, as such because they haven't done anything of significance for, as working members of the royal family. So it kind of made sense not to mention them, to be honest.